Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the e-cowbell. So we all know we all need more cowbells, but let's get started. So this is the e-cowbell device. And the e-cowbell is a cowbell synthesizer. So um, maybe you can call this like the cow synthesis. And um, this synthesizer contains of the on-off knob, then the preset knob over here, where you can choose between several um, cowbells, then the title, then the remote controls, and then the modulation section. Then here's a, um, a pitch generator where you could uh, choose the pitch, for example. I put a, a clip over here, like this. Like that. Or you can... Um, switch on the key tracking so you can uh, play on your keyboard like that for example then you have the um, offset generator and the offset generator is uh, the second um, oscillator because um, you have here a sawtooth and a square that are mixed in, in different ways and the shape over here in the shape you can um, just change this mixture as well this here's a shape so the oscillator shape is blending between a main saw, main saw tooth uh, 50 per percent in a pulse wave uh, up an octave or a pulse width control saw tooth up an octave 100 percent so here you can change it a little bit more and with this offset So you can use it like that. Then here you have the oscillator mix between the um, two oscillators, the sawtooth and the pulse width. Like that. Then you have a bandpass filter over here. Where you can um, sweep in the whole frequency spectrum. You see the bandpass filter is over here in the 2K section or higher or even lower and then there's a resonance um, a filter the Q filter where I can emphasize the highest part of the bandpass filter to emphasize those areas of the something like that for example then there's a ring modulation in here, over here, that is uh, um, off by default, but you could um, change it so the, uh, um, you can um, mix a little bit ring modulation in there, and ring modulation is a um, fairly simple concept. Ring modulation takes a, a frequency, adds another frequency, and this other added, or this additional frequency, let me say like that, is... Um, if you have um, 100 hertz as a base frequency and you you um, put another you add another frequency to it like 200 hertz now let me say it like 50 hertz so base is 100 hertz you add 50 hertz ring modulation to it so the 100 hertz gets um, added 50 hertz and subtracted to 50 hertz so it let it is then left over with 50 hertz and 150 hertz and the 150 hertz um, are um, deleted, maybe like that, or the result is 50 hertz and 150 hertz instead of just 150 hertz. I hope this was clear enough in that short way. And um, if you have here the pitch, for example, I could put that on 100 hertz, for example. This is 100 hertz and maybe just... Come on, come on, <laughs> like that, and maybe 100 hertz here as well, a little bit emphasis, and if I put on the ring modulation with, let me say, 50 hertz, what I said, now I have 50 hertz and 150 hertz, without the ring modulation I have 100 hertz. So there are two, maybe we can see that in the spectrum. Where is it? Like 
like that. I didn't want to explain the ring modulation. And it's not that obvious because I have... But I have another um, tutorial about the ring modulation. There I show you exactly um, what it is doing and what you can do with the ring modulation as well. I talked about uh, ring modulation in the um, effects uh, tutorials in the Hive 2 tutorial. Maybe I want to have a look over there. And yeah, then we have another envelope generator, amplitude envelope generator with the attack. Oh, this poor cowbell. <laughs> I need to load the default preset again. So there's an attack like you all know from the envelope and the decay. Like that. Then there is as well an um, um, effect container where you can put in some more effects like distortion, delays, reverbs or whatever. Uh, velocity sensitivity where you can just, I only have like four notes right now, but uh, you could put some more emphasis on the um, on the velocity, for example. Or less velocity. And for sure the output um, dial. What am I doing over here? So the output dial um, where you can configure the output volume. So that's everything about the um, e cover um, synthesizer. And if you uh, think we need more cowbells, then I would kindly ask you to do this. And if you don't think we need more cowbells, I would love to hear from you down below in the comments. <laughs> Leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, like my videos and share them would be very helpful and it would make me very happy. <laughs> if you want to see me happy and smiling, just share my videos, comment and like <laughs> everything. <laughs> so um, I hope I see you soon again in some of the other videos. So stay healthy. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>